Good day. Today we're going to look at one of the most uh, time-consuming thing in, in electrical drawings uh, and see how we can achieve that into SolidWorks Electrical. Well, we all know that w doing a wire numbering in solid in in generally in electrical drawing uh, when you have to do the wire numbers and then prepare the reports for those wire numbering so you can actually print them can be one of the most time-consuming uh, thing when you're drafting the electrical drawing. So let's see how we can uh, reduce the, that time to almost uh, uh, zero from, from hours and hours of work and see how efficiently we can uh, generate the wire numbering and the device uh, or component numbering in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. So let's open up SOLIDWORKS Electrical and open up one of the drawings uh, that we have created recently. So let's open this drawing and see at the moment you can see I've got all sorts of symbols on my drawing I've got components I've got terminals but one thing is not there on this particular drawing is wire numbering and that can be the most painful and can time consuming things traditionally I mean you would be putting some text by adding some text for example this is my L1 2 or something some sort of wire numbering and you would just place it onto the drawing and then you can you will control C and paste it on different locations where, where you need it. But this is SOLIDWORKS Electrical and things are much easier and faster to use. So let's click on this process tab and hit this number new wire button and this basically it acts like a magic button and does all the wire numbering for you. Hit OK and uh, yes. So all, all of a sudden you see all the wire numbers are appearing on my uh, drawing right there so what, what what is it on this or how does it work out these wire numbers and what what is it telling me those wire numbers that these wire numbers are telling me that this is coming there's a l1 which is my live one and it's coming from a, a l1 dash one live one number one one wire and it's coming from the origin of f1 which is my f1 right there uh, that's where my f1 is let me just draw the box so that's where this wire is coming from. So it's got the origin. There's different styles of wire numbering that can that we can choose. We can choose to show the row numbers or all the column numbers on the as a wire number. So it depends really what formula we choose out of the predefined one, or we can write our own one. So this is it from the wire numbering side. Other painful things, for example, there's as you can see, I've got a bunch of circuit breakers on my drawing, and I've got some contactors and everything. So I've got circuit breaker from Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, and I've got some other circuit breakers in my drawing. So if time comes in, now uh, I need to insert another circuit breaker on my drawing somewhere, or basically, so usually what you would do, you just copy this as a traditional thing and paste it, and then you update all the information that you need to do. So for here, as soon as I'll paste it here, you'll see, Q4 becomes Q11 because that's the next available number for that circuit breaker and later on if I delete uh, some circuit breakers for example Q4 or something and uh, I can simply click on this update mark and it will update all my device tags and marks uh, uh, information later on so as you can see it's all fixed now it has looked at uh, Q all the circuit breaker numbering it did renumber all the circuit breakers for me Q5 has become Q Q11 has become Q5 now so two two major things uh, are covered in this video, and you saw how quickly we achieve those two things: wire numbering and, and device tagging. So device tagging again: uh, the more you can keep copying, or, or every time you insert a new symbol, it increments the wire numbering to the next available number. All right, so thank you very much for watching the video today, and yeah, hope you guys uh, liked it, and thank you.